Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Dan here and I'm joined by Scott and we're here for our next episode of Fresh Web Dev. On our other popular program, Press This, we've actually been talking about uh, subscription plugins or membership plugins for WordPress. And what I gather we're here to talk about today, Scott, is instead of downloading those plugins, that's a fix, actually creating your own custom membership yeah, uh, okay. tools within your WordPress page. Yep. And yeah. Do you want, yeah, if you want to kind of talk to us a little bit about that. And yeah, that sure. Things. So we're going to use uh, built-in WordPress functions, and we're going to just create a basic members-only page template. That's all we're going to do today. You can get more advanced. You could add a short code for membership, um, which you could insert into your post and display only You know, if somebody's logged in. Um, which would be like a certain portion of the post, right. or you can, you know, build um, your own, uh, you know, payment okay. system and whatnot. We're gonna get not get that in depth today, right? Um, so this will be very simple. However, we will be getting a little bit more in depth on our actual website. We'll post a link below if you're watching us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you can go out on there. We'll have the code available so you can take a look at it and some resources available to you. This discussion is more about the sort of things you can do with your your web development here and with um, creating these custom pages, page types, and page templates. So if you want to give us like a basic rundown of what that would look like. And yeah, go for sure. It. So uh, as I said, we're not going to cover the advanced. Right. Uh, so we're not going to cover membership expiration, stuff like that. But what we are going to do is we're going to be creating our own custom page template within the theme. Cool. Uh, you may need to create a child theme if you're modifying an existing theme. Right. In this case, we're not going to because we don't have to. But uh, in that page template, we're actually going to use WordPress functions to go ahead and display content okay. to users that are logged in. Neat. Or different roles as right. well. So display content to subscribers or administrators, right. both. You know, uh, so on and so forth. Cool. So we'll create the custom page template. We'll have the sure. example uh, on our blog post. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to use two built-in functions. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the only function that we do need is a function called is user logged in. Okay. And that's a Boolean conditional check. Right. So it'd probably go in like an if statement, something like if that. If then, yep. Um, and then you're going to say if the user is logged in, okay. display your member-only content. Right. Otherwise, you're going to either, you have a couple of options. You can either redirect them to the login screen. Okay. Uh, or you can print a login form directly right. on the page and right. have them log in from that page. Right. And in, and in, uh, in our press list, we talked about having mail, creating mailing lists out of this. This is a perfect opportunity to do that by restricting content to people who are logged into your, to your website. Definitely. You basically say, hey, if you want to view this awesome content, you need to be logged in. This clause will help you with that. And then that awesome uh, content is delivered uh, yeah. that way, which is really cool. Yep. And I do want to talk about another function of called uh, current user can. Okay. And that function is a Boolean conditional check All as right. well. But you're able to check different capabilities for different users. Okay. And this is where it gets a little bit more advanced, but you can output content simply for subscribers only. All right. Or all the way up to administrators, really cool just point. by using this function. So really you can cool. really tailor your membership really cool. plugin, uh, you know, or, or this custom functionality right. rather to uh, your needs. Oh, awesome! So basically, within when you're doing this code, like if it's current user can within the parentheses section, you just enter something like probably read would be a subscriber okay. level, um, okay. and that would actually be all the way up to administrators. Right. But if you just wanted to display something for administrators, you'd probably do something like manage options. Um, you can also do edit pages, right. which uh, would be authors and editors and whatnot. Um, WordPress does have a an extensive list right. of the roles and capabilities, which we'll right. provide in our resources yeah. section. It's really nice to have such a like a sort of a complex yet simple to use CMS going on here to to work with, where you just say, okay, read, and then it knows, you know, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's how this functions and interfaces. Um, anything else you wanted to talk about today? We um, yeah, so what we could do with this as well, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, is right. you could hook into the WP action or okay. the init action, and you could actually turn your entire website into a members only you know area, so they have to log in to get you know any content. Oh, cool. Probably might not want to do that if you if you look and have any visitors go there, but right. if it's a private you know right. sort of website, you could do that. One small sector on your website. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and then one thing you might want to do you know you could display a welcome message right. and you can display like different sidebars different menus yeah. for members who are logged in so you can like really customize it creating like a landing page if you will. i mean we we talked about premise and the press this and uh that sort of had the same kind of evolved from the landing page here's a way to do a custom landing page in a way which is really really neat really mm -hmm. cool if you're a developer and want to sort of provide this sort of um sort of content for your clients which is great 
Yeah, so uh, you guys actually reviewed another plugin as well on, on Press This, right? Yeah, we reviewed uh, Premise. We also reviewed it. We put it against uh, Wishlist Member, which okay. is sort of the, those are two of the most more, more popular uh, ones out there. Wishlist by Wishlist and uh, Premise, um, actually by the guys from Studio Press. Oh, okay. Who initially created that project, which is neat. Awesome. Um, you can check that out along with other, other content um, on our website at slocumstudio.com slash blog. Uh, you can subscribe with the slash subscribe uh, ending. Uh, and also, uh, if you want to, you can go on our YouTube page if you're already there. You can subscribe to us at Slocum Studio as well. Uh, I want to thank you, Scott, for being on the show today, providing Thanks, us with your awesome insight as always. Appreciate it. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me.